Um, you know, that was a hard-fought game. They, they, they were what we thought, a physical team that would go to the glass, um, probably saw us as being vulnerable after, after the game Monday. And um, we had to fight really hard to get it. And that's what's, you know, if we, we got to understand that, that that's, that's what's going to happen. Now, I think that, you know, we also have to not let adrenaline make our decisions on offense. Um, and when we moved the ball well, we, we scored. We got into some funky, mo funky moments when we didn't. Um, but um, I think the difference is probably the fact that we had five turnovers the whole game. And, and I think we probably had two or three of them in the last minute and a half. But I think that was in the fact that our, we pressured them into some turnovers. Could you talk about that pressure? I mean, uh, I don't know if you started it late in the first half, but the half court uh, stretching them out and the half court press. Yeah, we, um, yeah, our matchup press. And we, we were able to, to get it on them. I think there were times we weren't in it. They may have thought we were. Um, and I think we got a little better at it as the game got on, which is a good sign. Um, but I think that was the difference in the game because it took them out of it took them away from the basket. Some they had to bring some of those big guys away from the basket, which we thought would play into our strengths, and um, that took them off of the backboard a little bit, and it made their guys handle the ball. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I didn't. I looked at that stat, shot, stat line. I said. What you smiling at? <laughs> I'm trying to hear what you're about to say. <laughs> <laughs> I said, man, Keith had a double double with five, four assists, no turnovers, and five steals. I think that's that. I don't have it in front of me. Is that what what it was? Yep. yep. I think it was 18 points, 10 rebounds, four assists, yep. five steals, no turnovers. I don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> now, Keith, what do you got to say about that? Uh, just huh? Thank you for the opportunity that uh, Coach gave me and my team is just believing in me. I mean. Without them, couldn't have been done. So, very appreciative and uh, just happy to be a part of this team. Is this the best game of, I mean, all around game of your life? Um, I wouldn't say my life, but definitely my time here at Kinesis for sure. Yeah, yeah. Could you, defense seemed, uh, you know, it, it seemed like you were, you, your eyes got big. I mean, some of those half court steals, it looked like you were just like salivating to <coughs> get confident that you were getting the ball in. Um, just during shoot around, actually, it happened. Uh, they were mad at, they weren't mad at me, but they were trying to tell me to go under. But I'm, and I think I told Carmel, I'm going to steal it today because I, that's why I just, I don't like to go under. That's not really aggressive to me, so I'd rather just try to blow it up. And uh, thankfully, it worked. You know, he fumbled it. So could you explain that go under? What do you mean? Um, it was between the opponent and uh, I think it was with Crump, so our teammate. Usually, you just want to cut the shoot the gap so you could just be right in front of him. But I'm going in between the uh, two opponents, so right. it happened to work out. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. And, um, as Coach said, career highs in points, rebounds, steals. Can't get any much better than that. That's just, <laughs> and especially a double double. Your first first career double double. Uh, and it was a hard fought game too. Especially, how, how how appreciative is it to to have such a great game tonight? Uh, just the basketball guys just blessed me today. To be honest, I mean, just I'm just going out there to play hard. I'm not really thinking about scoring 20 or grabbing 10 rebounds. My main objective is bring energy and just try to have a winning environment. That's all I'm there to do, really. What would you say is that, that way you describe your role on the team? Um, That's it, right? Bring. Yeah, to bring energy, be a leader, and uh, just help the young guys figure it out. You know, that's what it's about, just passing on a winning tradition. You know, last year you showed brief flashes here and there. Can you talk about the difference in your second year, even though it's the first year in this system? Um, well, how are you better in your eyes? I'm a lot more comfortable. To be honest, yeah, I feel like um, I know my role this year. Like last year, I, you, I wouldn't play two games and I started starting. So it was just kind of up and down. But going into games, I know my role. I'm going to start and I'm going to have opportunities just to bring energy. And I'm just going to be, my vocal point is going to be to play defense. I'm going to start to set the tone defensively. And um, a big part of me being comfortable is just, yeah, knowing my role. How about the alley -oop dunk play? I, I don't know. How many of you had? You had that one early? I mean, I'm a, I have had one every game. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's actually been, it's just been working for us, you know? So, I mean, the middle is wide open, so it's, it's been working for us, yeah. 
So that's sort of a cut. You beat your guy back to, this actually, was early, and Isaiah fed it to you. I'm actually thankful. We got a few out you plays for me, so I'm, uh, uh, I know when it's coming. We know when it's right. coming, yeah. Now, was yeah. that off a timeout? Um, I think yep. it was the one, yeah, yeah. So that yeah. was called yeah. in the huddle. Yeah. So, Reggie, what do you think about that? <laughs> 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 but, I mean, calling that play for him because, uh, you know, I mean, you didn't, what is he? What you know? Obviously, he has the ability. He's got. He does have the ability, and I'm not. I'm not surprised by this with Kiefer because he's really versatile. He can pass the basketball very well. He handles the ball very well, and he shoots it better than he told me he was going to shoot it. I knew he was going to shoot it well, and I, I told you that. Yeah, you did. And so I, you know, and he defends. He's athletic. Uh, he runs. Um, he sees the game. So. Um, I think now he's able to relax and not worry so much. Just, just play the game, stay on the game itself, compete. When he does that, you know, he, he may have 18, he may have 20, but he's going to hurt you one way or the other. You know, he's, if, if you're preparing for us, Kiefer Dallas is probably going to impact the game one way or another. Rebounding, he's even blocked shots. Um, so he, he just really versatile. You were scoreless for the first 15 minutes. Other than what, what Keeper was doing, really, the whole team was struggling to score. What did you and the team do to, to pick that up over the last 20, 25 minutes? Uh, I mean, they went zone early. Uh, I got a couple good looks in the middle. They didn't drop. So uh, kind of in my mind, it registered maybe the jump shot's not going. So let me you know, try to get, get, get something easy inside, get a layup to go. Um, but you know, I got to credit my teammates, you know, give me the ball in the post. Give me those opportunities and you know not looking me off and just we just playing well you know together and that's just how i got it going in the second half and quinnipiac is tall lengthy and they're really tough inside mm -hmm. especially being being a, a a forward how 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 tough is that to, to play against a team, a quinnipiac team like this they're, they've been re, out rebounding teams left and right so how, how difficult was it to, to play Oh, uh, they're a tough team, you know, you know, get them credit in, in that regards and then they're going to go out there and they're going to, you know, try to get to it on the glass. Um, but just me just being able to, you know, go inside out um, this game, it was inside and uh, I, I, we, we seen that and we just kept going to it and that just that that motivated me. That got me going. I got my engine going. So how what comfortable they, are you? Got, you know, at times you're the center out there, four mm -hmm. guys. Mm -hmm. um, are you comfortable in that? I would assume you are. That's how you grew up playing, right? Uh, yeah. It's, it's kind of hard to say, but uh, you know, the, the coaches are gonna put us. They're gonna make subs and put us in the good positions, you know, to, to win the ball game. And they think that it's working. You know, when we go four guards, and if we went four guards, we're filling the game. Um, but you know, just you know, just trying to screen. You know, just spread spreading the defense out, and that's tough. You know, trying to move it side to side, how we talked about before, but. You know, it's, it's just something just finding my niche. We're coming together, you know, collect, as a collective group. And, uh, you know, it's just, I don't know. It's, it's just tough. I mean, it's just hard to talk about right now. Is this Crump leading the team and charges taken? Yes. That, right? Yes. He is definitely leading the team and charges taken. And it's a big part of the way we have to protect the basket. We, and we have to have that. We don't have a, um, a, 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 a traditional shot blocker. But that plays to our advantage. So it's your question about him being a center. We, when he's in the game and we have four guards, we really don't have a center. If you've got a center in, then he better be able to move. <laughs> when he went to those lineups, kind of changed the game a little bit. Yeah. We have done that. I, I'm, I'm thinking about naming that lineup. Uh, yeah. I was like, maybe the fire lineup. You know, like, but. Yeah. Huh? We can't call it the lineup of death yet. No, 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 no. <laughs> can't do that. <laughs> Not yet. But, 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 uh, um, it is a, it, we think it's an advantage to us, and especially in a game like this, because then we can really turn up our pressure defensively too. And, and, and then on the other end, if we move the ball, it's going to be hard to keep up with us. The, uh, yeah, I haven't, obviously haven't seen everybody, but I'm going to guess in terms of experienced athleticism, you guys are not up there. And I own a, um, there's a bunch of teams that have more experienced athleticism than you. That's my premise. Mm -hmm. So with that in mind, if you agree with that, how key is it for Kiefer to have stepped up this year? Because he gives you the athletic element that you, I mean, if he doesn't, if he's struggling and in a senior slump here, that's a big problem for you this year. It is, and it's a big opportunity for him. And 
he is really, really important to our team because of his versatility. And um, you're right, we, we, we play a lot of young minutes. We just do, that's just, um, and sometimes that can drive you crazy, particularly at, at the end of a game, the way the game ended. Um, I think I grew hair and it, and it fell out 10 times uh, during that time. But, but when you have that kind of versatility, it adds some stability to what we're doing. And, um, you know, it, he's, he's big because we can have him guard. Just, we've had him guard just about anybody. And we know we think we have an advantage on the other end if the ball moves. And if we don't have a disadvantage on the defensive end, then I think, um, you know, there's a lot of things we're working on defensively. And, you know, we're trying to get the field goal percentage defense down. But we forced 17 turnovers today, and, and we talked about that being a number that we tried to get to. And, um, and we took care of the basketball, and I think that was a difference in the game. Five turnovers. Um, let's see. Tying a program low in the 113 years that Kanisha has had basketball. That's, Is that right? That's that's pretty impressive. Uh, what 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 was the what like what, what was the uh, how did that how did you guys not turn the ball over? I guess, uh, have had not a difficulty with turning it over, but you guys haven't had numbers like five in a game before. So what? What, what was the well, now I'm thinking, man, if we took care of the basketball at the end, we could have broke the record. <laughs> um, but, and I think the guys will think that when they hear that. But I think. Um, I mean, it's still remarkable either way. But. Yes, it, it, no, it is. And I, I think um, we're getting better, you know, gradually at taking care of the basketball. Um, as I said before, sometimes we make, we take three steps and go back to, but I think we are getting a little bit gradually better. And um, we have to keep doing that. You know, that's a, that's a huge key for us. We, you know, we didn't shoot it particularly well the last two games, um, like we have been in practice and like we've done in some other games. And um, you have to be able to take care of the basketball then so you get enough shots at the basket to win, and um, particularly when you're playing against a team that rebounds it as well as our opponent did. So, um, but we got to continue to get better at that. And that's knowing where everybody is. That's, you know, you get 21 assists and, and five turnovers, you should have a pretty good chance to win. Keeper, you spent one year at Lee Academy or two? Two years. Two years. Yeah. And then so we went from there to Concordia to Jacksonville. Yes, sir. So you bounced. Do you feel like nice to be in the same place two years in a row? Um, to be honest with that, I've had a different coach every year. So it's just nice to know that I could adapt, to be honest. I adapt everywhere I go. So. Um, but it's nice to call Buffalo home for the last two years. It has been, it has been good. 